What's up everybody? I hope you're having a great day and you're not too cold out there because it's snowing everywhere in the United States. I mean like 75% of the whole United States is covered in snow. This is wild. This is probably like one of the coldest I've seen in a while. I know here in Pensacola I think it's the coldest it's been I think on record. I think Texas y'all are the same way. Central United States. So I came up with an idea. I know a lot of people are struggling out there both with the snow and the cold and with you know the the pandemic and financially so i figured you know what one of the biggest ways to make a little extra money is solving a problem and solving a problem we've got one of those and it's called snow snow and buckets snow and dump trucks okay that's that's a metaphor but if you can solve that problem you can make some extra money so in this video i want to talk about the top ways to make money preferably 100 200 300 dollars a day in the snow okay so there's many ways to do that and that's what we're going to talk about i think about six or seven or eight different ways of doing it going from the smallest all the way up to a multi-tier bigger way of making money at scale they'll go from a hundred dollars a day two hundred dollars a day and if you get these others down pat you can make a lot of money because you're doing it at scale so here we go everybody we're going to do this we're going to talk about making money in the snow because I, if this just helps one person, that's all that matters to me. Here we go. Okay, so the first one is a very interesting idea. I came up with it while I was driving the other day. Um, actually, the first day the storm hit, because I'm like, man, it's freezing out here, and it's cold, and the roads are frozen, and it's not safe to be on the road. But if you got a truck or a four-wheel drive or something that's just pretty hardy on the road... This is going to solve a problem of how people get from point A to point B because right now people can't get to work. They can't get places. They're snowed in. They're stuck in. But if you've got a four-wheel drive or a truck or a Jeep or something that's sturdy or you just know how to drive, driving Uber during a snowstorm is a brilliant idea because why? You're not going to have hardly any competition on the road right now. This is probably one of the better ones I've come up with recently. There's going to be nobody on the road that can actually really drive safely on the road, but people still got to get from point A to point B. And uh, Uber and Lyft, if uh, the app will let you run during a snowstorm, it's a great idea because you'll be the only ones out there. You'll just be going from point A to point B the whole day and you're going to make money. And that rolls into my number two is running errands for people while they're snowed in or they're stuck in the ice or stuck in the office and they don't want to go out get food, go to the post office, go to the courthouse, things like that, even if the courthouse is open. But running errands for people during a time. See, I, I learned a lot of this stuff being here in the storm capital of the United States. We get hurricanes on the regular, okay? And people come up with problems all the time and you gotta solve them. So rolling into the next one, number three, is people can't stay warm. Heaters, firewood, uh, makeshift fire pits, things like that. I bet you could sell like hotcakes. So problem, cold, snow, ice, solving is generators, stoves, hot chocolate, coffee. I bet you could put a coffee stand and a hot chocolate stand on the side of the road right now and kill it in Texas or the Midwest because what, 75% of the United States is covered in snow right now? That's nuts. Because just think, just think, a cup of coffee for a dollar, two dollars, or hot chocolate, dollar, two dollars, and it's costing you 10 cents to make it, and you're going to sell it like hotcakes. And I just think, hey, that is a good idea. Margins are high on that, really high. So the next one is a good one. It's more opportunistic. So if you're going from point A to point B, I think this is number five, is if you have a truck or a big automobile, having a tow chain, tow strap, or whatever in the back of your truck, is a money-making machine. Why? Because here in Florida, people get stuck in the sand, okay? And if you go along the beach on a, like a, a good packed Saturday afternoon out on the far side of like Pensacola and the public areas, people are stuck in the sand all over the place. It's like, it's a thing. And I know lots of guys that ride around and charge 20, 30, 40 bucks for them to throw a toe strap around their bumper and yank them out. And they do that all day long. I know kids in high school that this is their gig. They just drive out to the beach. They find some people. Hey, man, you pulled out? Yeah, I'll pull you out. Boom, he's out. 40 bucks. Move on to the next one. And so snow, when you're snowed into your parking spot, you're snowed in or you're, you're frozen into your parking spot, or you just spun around sideways going through a stop sign or whatever, 
You're going to have to check into the legalities and the insurance. I'm not going to teach you how to do the business, but I'm teaching you the idea that if you've got a tow chain, tow truck, got a whatever way to move somebody out of a bad position, you can make some money off that. Okay, so the last and final one of this whole deal to try to you know capitalize on it is actually a snow shovel. Okay, snow shovel, whether you want to do it by shoveling or go get one of those Harbor Freight flamethrowers, don't, this, that, that was a joke, not just saying it could work, but you'll have lots of frozen water everywhere. Don't blame me if you try that, like this guy that did it on his yard, okay? But salt, whatever you want to do, carry a brush around, like one of these brushes, a snow brush, to where you can wipe off windshields or trash cans or railways. And this can actually go into a bigger idea. So for like the young hustlers out there, the young guys, if you want to get out there highly motivated and shovel driveways, 30 bucks a pop, 40 bucks a pop, depend on linear your foot, come up with your, your math on that. Um, and then get on next door before the storm hits and go ahead and line up your driveways because people aren't going to want to walk out the snow in the morning. If you can be there in the morning and get it done before they wake up, get you a PayPal app or a Venmo or a uh, um, cash app or however you want to do it where you can get you can get paid automatically without having to go and collect the money because that's going to add to your time when you can just be doing another driveway it's a good idea but if you could take that to the next level and try to subcontract business parking lots okay like most of these businesses can't make money tomorrow morning after a store a snowstorm if, it, if their parking lots covered in snow if the parking lots iced over or whatever, they're not going to be able to make money. They're going to need you to get the snow out of the parking lot and from in front of their building and etc. Time is money. So if you could forward plan with some of the local hardware stores, donut shops, uh, you know, the mom and pop shops that you'll be there in the morning, just like a guy that cuts grass or we need stuff, you're getting the snow out of there and you could get you some customers to where when you know the storm is coming, you're like Johnny on the spot ready to clean it up. And uh, I know a lot of people that do subcontracting for snow contracting. Okay, so like you got your alpha up here that does this, you know, the big time snow uh, contracting and marketing their snow removals. Well, you can go be a subcontractor to those guys. Just give enough value, go out there and market yourself that you're willing to move snow Go and get the stuff for your truck or whatever, a snow plow, whatever you got to do, a snow blower, some shovels, and go and do it just like a regular landscaping business. I mean, so these are just some ways to capitalize on the snow, and since it's snowing out, why not do it? And I wanted to make this video because it might help somebody. And for those that want to hate on me for it, I don't care. It's going to help somebody. Also, one last thing, happen to be a real estate agent right here in the great state of Florida. And if you're moving here to get away from the snow, hit the email link below, send me an email, we'll talk about it. We got beaches and stuff down here, it's real, real warm. So comment down below if you've done any of these and if they work or what you think, just give it to me straight because this is about helping people, helping people. See you guys next time.